In this video, we are going to call the REST API and start executing and getting the results. First of all, let me change the appearance and the theme of the Android Studio. So I will change it to dark mode, dark color. After the poll that I have posted on the YouTube, I see that you uh, prefer using the dark theme over the light theme. Now, we have seen before how to, uh, yeah, and we write a method called search movie. The search movie API, it is inside the, the requests, it's the movie API client. And search movie API, this method will be used inside the classes. So I told you that we are going to follow the architecture components. I will call this method through this is the API client. It is now the lower level. So I will put it into the repository and inside the view model and inside the activity. Back to our documentations. Let me show you what we are going exactly to do in this video. Remember, these documentations are available on Play Store, uh, an app called Master Coding. This is our app. This is our official application. So the remote data source, the API client, the repository, view model, and activity. We are going to use this method inside these classes. So at the top of my, our API, there is a repository. So open movie API, and then the view model, and then the activity. So first of all, I will configure the repository here. And then I will configure the view model here. And the last thing is the movie list API, which is the UI controller that we are going to display. This is the main activity till now. So the main activity, then a view model, I will drag it, then the repository, and then the movie API. I have ordered them in a uh, understandable manner okay so as I told you guys we need to call the search movie that it is in the movie API for the in the repository and then uh, we call the method of the repository in the view model and the method in the view model we will call it into the activity it's maybe some uh, confusing but uh, you will understand it at the end of this video. Calling the method. Okay, there is an error. Okay, I need to copy this, cut it, and here. Okay. Now, calling the method. It starts by public void search movie. Search movie API. And I will pass, I need a query and I need a page, an int for the page, okay? So, page number. So what we are going to do is querying according to the integer or the and the page number. So, let me see, let, let me take example for the Fast and the Furious or Jack Reacher. So this movie API will go and search on the website, the moviedb.org for the query, which is the Fast and the Furious or, uh, or Jack Reacher and according to, and display the results according to the page number. So in this way, we have configured and add it into the repository. Now, in the same way we are going to do in the view model. Remember guys, we are moving according to the architecture, movie API, movie repository, view, uh, movie view model, and then movie activity, okay? We are going the same way to call the method but we, go, we are going to make an instance of the movie repository here and call its method. So as I told you, this method will take the query as string. So what we are going to search for and display the results for the 
a page according to the page number you are we are going to specify it's very easy guys after the execution and after uh, understanding them in the next video we we will master these concepts and there is no confusion about this i hope you uh, understand the architecture and uh, um, and mvvm it's very important and uh, our course later courses will be about it so don't miss to rate us five stars on udemy and uh, hit subscribe below on youtube on udemy and on you our youtube channel so you get everything now let's move as i told you to the movie activity this is the top level of the architecture and get these are the method that we have search and used before now let's create here and make an execution of uh, the retrofit response we see before how to search for uh, for jack reacher movie now we are going to call the method in the main activity so we are going to call the method in the main activity okay so private void search movie api and i will pass in the same way the query as string and and the page number as int so we are specifying and we are searching according to the query and according to page number repo repository movie list view model we are going to make an instance of the view model first view model and we are going to search the movie api according to passing the query and the end page number okay this is the way we have put it and called the method and going according to the architecture from step by step okay now let's make a global a global uh, call of these methods so let me see i have annotated this because i don't need the, the methods and i will go up i will go up and here on create method we are going to test test the method set on click listener and we need to observe any change first of all the method that we have created in the previous video and we are going to search the movie api and uh, here let me go and make a query for jack reacher let me see or fast let me see the fast the fast query and let me display all the results in the page number one okay and we need to observe any change we need to call this method okay and i need to this to make here the logic for if movie models does not equal to null we will enter a loop movie model movie model equal to movie model list movies and it is uh, i think uh, movies model movie models okay and now we are going to get the data in the log log v and here I will display the tag and let me get the message of 
uncreated or unchanged is called and uh, let me display the movie models all the movies that starts with the fast or related to a keyword fast and let me get the title of these movies okay so we have configured we need to observe the data let me call this method and we have configured our application and our uh, our project in order to search for the keywords for example we are going to search till now for the fast for the keyword called fast 